Hey, smarty pants. There's been a lot of chatter about how the Fed is raising interest rates and this is gonna kind of affect like every financial transaction and it will affect your wallet. So let's talk about that so you can be prepared, save money and do really well when others are freaking out because they don't understand what's going on. In this video, you'll learn what the Fed rate is, why it's so important and the five things you can expect with rising interest rates so you can prepare and maybe even use it to your advantage. What happened is that the Fed raised its benchmark federal funds rate by 0.25%. Yeah, I know, but it's important and I wouldn't waste your time with this stuff if it wasn't important. So follow me here. The federal funds rate is the cost for banks to lend money to other banks. Thus, all other interest rates are based on this one interest rate. Your credit card, your car loan, your mortgage, your savings account, anything with an interest rate is going to be affected. It's kind of like if uh, Beyonce or, you know, name your pop idol, started wearing neon lipstick. Everyone else would do so because she sets trends. Yes, I just compared the Fed to Beyonce. The Fed is looking at raising interest rates six more times this year so whatever happens to your accounts now is just a shadow of what is to come. They've signaled and this hasn't happened yet but like they've signaled that this is gonna happen that the interest rate will be about 2% by the end of the year. So now that's like Beyonce is wearing neon lipstick, neon nail polish, she's got like neon jewelry, maybe she's even got like purple neon hair, which would look amazing. And everybody else is also rocking all that neon because she started it first. Now they're doing this to help calm down inflation. Inflation is super complicated, but this usually works by reducing spending and borrowing and increasing savings. So if you've been hard hit by rising prices due to inflation, this should help you save money. And before you go thinking that a 2% interest rate is insane, here is a historical graph of the effective federal funds rate. I know, I say such sexy words, they're gonna take me off this platform. The interest rate was about 2% pre-pandemic. See how in the past few years it's been bonkers low? Yeah, it's gonna be fine. 2% isn't that much. As you can see, when you look at the effective federal funds rate over the past 70 years, it's been all over the place. So don't think that this is unprecedented or that 2% is high. What was unprecedented was how low it's been since the Great Recession. I'm gonna talk more about inflation here in a few minutes, so hold on to your butts for that saucy subject. The important bit is what will rising interest rates do to your money? How can you prepare and thrive? Okay, here are my five big things you can expect from rising interest rates. Personal finance is personal. So this is for educational and informational purposes only. To find out what's best for you, talk to a financial professional. Check out this link to watch my hilarious video on how to find a good one. Number one, the big effect rising interest rates will have on your money is that the cost of borrowing is gonna increase. Let's talk about the different ways people borrow money that could affect you. Credit card borrowers are gonna see this almost immediately if you carry a balance. Likely it won't have that much of a difference on your minimum payment, but it will have a big difference on the total amount of interest you pay over the period of that loan. It will cost you much more. So if you've been looking for a sign to finally get out of credit card debt, consider this it. The cost of home buying is also gonna go up. Unlike credit cards, it takes much longer for the Fed rate to affect home buying costs. And you may be saying, big freaking deal, I've been priced out of the market for years now, what do I care? Well, the increase in the interest rates should actually slow down how fast the housing market is appreciating. And that may be good or bad, depending on whether or not you are buying or selling. For student loans, this doesn't affect any loans you currently have with fixed interest rates. New loans or loans with variable interest rates, however, may be affected. Congress will set the 22-23 interest rate in a few months, so we won't know about federal student loans until then. New private student loans, almost guaranteed to increase. Variable private student loans, I would put good money down that they will all increase. If you have a HELOC, a home equity line of credit with a variable interest rate, you're gonna be paying more on that loan. You may wanna consider either pay it off or see if your bank will convert it from a variable loan to a fixed rate HELOC. Not all banks offer this. Basically, if you have a variable interest rate on anything, 
you'll be paying more in interest as the Fed rate goes up and up. The second effect rising interest rates will have on your money. You will need a higher credit score in order to borrow money. See, banks are gonna be making fewer loans, so they're gonna be much more selective on who they give the loans to. For example, maybe a bank would have lent money to somebody with like a 630 credit score before. Now, they won't lend money to anybody with like below a 680. Every single bank has different lending standards. So if you get rejected at one, try another one. My name is Kate Moody, creator of the Savings Spree Budget, here to help you outsmart your money. I help smart people understand what they need to know about money so that they can enjoy their life and rest easy. If that sounds good to you, be sure to subscribe. The third effect rising interest rates will have on your money is you'll make more money from interest on your savings account with this caveat. That is in normal times, and God knows that we are in anything but normal times, because the thing is, savings rates are at their highest since World War II, so banks don't really have much of an incentive to get you to save more money. So they might not actually increase their savings account interest rates. We'll have to see. But a very safe savings vehicle, the CD, almost assuredly will increase the interest rate you get on them. You may want to consider moving money from a savings account to a CD depending on your situation. The fourth effect rising interest rates will have on your money is the value of your investments and like your retirement probably will go up or down. Okay, why am I mentioning this? Why am I being so confusing? Fair questions. Generally, when interest rates rise, the stock market goes down because when interest rates go up, people buy less stuff, companies make lower profits, which makes the stock less desirable and the stock price goes down. But on hearing that interest rates were going up last week, the stock market went up. So over the past few years, the market has not been reacting to changes in a way that history and economic modeling would think that it should react. Either way, whether the market goes up or down, the reason I am including this is so that you do what Jill Schlesinger, Jill Schlesinger recommends in her book, Dumb Things Smart People Do With Their Money, and you just stick to your investment plan. Whatever plan that you had when you started investing, stay with it. If you said that you're gonna invest $100 a week, keep on investing $100 a week. If you said that you were gonna sell X stock when it hit Y amount, sell X stock when it hits Y amount. Just stick to your plan. The fifth effect rising interest rates will have on your money is it should lower inflation. But I would be remiss if I didn't also mention that there's a possibility it could cause a recession. So like, yay, cost of goods is going down. But inflation is super complicated. Consider it like trying to forecast the weather two weeks from now. Yeah, we know what the weather is doing globally at this very moment. And we know historically what happened at that time period. But you know, a butterfly flaps its wings in Indonesia and there's a blizzard in Peoria. The future's uncertain. And there's a lot of things that go into inflation. So although raising interest rates usually cools down a market, rising interest rates too fast can cause a recession like it did in the 70s and 80s. That, and that's genuinely scary and something to watch out for, sure. What you need to know is that our inflation has very different causes than the inflation of the 70s and 80s, when the Fed rate went bonkers. So yes, recession could occur, but let me be very, very clear. I don't think it will occur. I'm not a PhD economist or anything like that. The reason I say this is because the Fed has learned a lot from history. They have access to a ton of data and to the very smartest economic minds in our country right now. That said, they're humans, they're fallible, and the future is a vast unknown. I recommend the New York Times podcast, The Daily, from Wednesday, March 16th, 2022, titled Inflation Lessons from the 1970s. Like I said, I don't think that there will be a recession, but I would be remiss if I didn't at least mention that possibility to you. Okay, my prognostications for your money. It's gonna cost more to borrow, so if you're looking at getting money uh, in the near future, maybe get it in the sooner future. Or if you have any kind of variable loan, maybe think about trying to convert that into a fixed rate loan. Two, you'll need a better credit score in order to borrow money. Three, you'll make more money from your savings account, probably. Four, stick to whatever financial plan you had when you started investing. And five, inflation should 
go down so your dollar will go further. If you want help saving more, stressing less, taking control over your money, check out my 24 easy money moves down in the description. Thanks for watching. Cheers.